Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Simply Espresso, coming to you from the northeast of Scotland. Right, so this will be my 11th espresso review, and today we're going to be looking at a coffee that I picked up when I was in Dundee recently at uh, the coffee shop called J.A. Braithwaite. And the coffee I'm reviewing is the their Jamaican Blue Mountain. I was quite excited to try this when I first got it. Um, unfortunately on the bag we don't see any roasting date or expiry date. There is no tasting notes whatsoever. And no story on the back or anything uh, telling us the origin of the coffee or what sort of processing method it went under. Um, so it's quite bare bones uh, packaging as well. There's no sealable bit at the top, it's literally just a bit of sticky tape. Um, um, obviously I've opened the bag of beans and um, smelled the beans initially and to me it all tastes or smells just a, a little bit stale. It, to me the beans don't smell very fresh um, in my opinion. Um, but we'll see what happens when we grind when we grind the beans, so we'll just go out to the niche in Shelby and take a look at the actual beans. Okay guys, so that's us up top uh, looking down at the beans on the niche. I would suggest that these beans are probably medium roasted, perhaps even medium to dark, potentially. Um, I've had a little bit of trouble dialing these beans in. Um, I just seem, seems like I have to go finer and finer and finer. I'm now sitting at um, 11 on the dial of the niche. So we'll see what uh, we get with that. So onto the grind. Right guys, welcome back. That's us uh, ready to do the shot. So the pack has been prepped. Boiler is sitting at 93 degrees Celsius. As the aim is, well, it's 18 grams in, we're aiming to get as close to 36 grams as possible uh, within 25 to 30 seconds. Let's see how the shot goes then, shall we? So a little bit of initial channeling there. Okay. So that's about 37 grams, so slightly over the 36 I was aiming for. Um, it was about 26 seconds on the, the pure sticker. So the shot is just about what I want. Could maybe even go slightly finer with this, to be honest. As you can see, the shot looks okay. A little bit of crema on top. So let's start with the tasting then, shall we? So firstly onto the nose. So up front you're getting chocolate, dark chocolate. There's some bitterness there too. There's a hint of fruitiness, not that much. And a slight, slight nuttiness to it as well. Anyway, on to the taste then. Right, okay, so Again, you're getting that, that chocolate notes, dark chocolate notes coming out. There is a little bit of bitterness there, but it's not that paracetamol bitterness I had off that Empire State coffee. I would say this is probably more pleasant bitterness. I'm not getting much fruit notes at all. Um, what I got on the nose doesn't really translate onto the palate that well. Um, let's have another taste, shall we? Yeah, not, 
not much has changed since the first sip. So again, dark chocolate, a little bit of nuttiness, a little bit of bitterness. But that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, I think it's just okay, to be absolutely honest with you guys. Um, I think it's way overpriced for what it is. It was, what, £28 for the bag of 250 grams? I don't think it's particularly complex. Um, I had this as an Americano earlier on today, before I had this espresso, and um, I was a bit disappointed with the Americano that came out, to be honest. It was quite bland. Um, didn't have much going for it. Now, I mean, if I want dark chocolate notes, nuttiness, and some sweetness, I can get um, a 250 gram bag for six pounds, six pound 50. Uh, blacker coffee roasters. Um, they do a, tw a twilight blend and a chocolate point blend as well. Um, and that's it's far better than this. I get a lot more individual taste coming out from those other coffees. This just seems to be a bit muted, really. Um, I was looking forward to trying, uh, you know, because this is supposed to be quite a rare coffee, um, I was expecting, I don't know, I was expecting some, some fruitiness to come out at least. Um, I got a tiny, tiny bit of fruitiness on the nose, but not much else on the palate at all. Um, and um, it's a bit surprising, to be honest. Um, as I said, I'm not sure how old these beans are. Um, as I said, on, the, on when I smelt the whole beans, they didn't smell particularly fresh to me. They smelt a bit musty, a bit stale. Also, the roast as well. I'm not sure if they've got the roast uh, completely right. Um, it's quite dark on the actual roast, but as I say, the actual... And when you dial it on the niche, you have to really, really grind it fine to get anything out of it. Um, so I would say that overall, um, for that sort of price, I've had so much better coffee. Um, I've had better coffee, like really, really good quality coffee. That Colonna was only £15. Pound. Um, okay, 150 grams, but um, it blows this one out the water. Yeah, so... Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest, where these... I mean, I don't know where they source these beans from, the, the company. Um, it doesn't really say anything. There's, there's no notes or anything like that. So it's very difficult to, to uh, you know, for, from transparency pers perspective, there's not much information. And that's what I like about these modern companies, is that you're getting more information. Um, anyway, guys, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. So I would give this probably a 5 out of 10. Um... It's not. It's just not that great. Okay. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you enjoy my content, uh, just like, comment, and subscribe if you wish. And I will see you all again soon. Have a great Monday, guys. And as always, take care.